Hello everyone, Naturally Keela here. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this very fun, sexy, vibrant look for Valentine's Day, stay tuned and I'm going to show you guys step by step how I created this look. Also, I partnered with some of my favorite Atlanta Naturals, Natural Chica, Lexi with the Curls, Mahogany Knots, Tarika of The Pursuit of Nappiness, and Naughty Nikki of Naughty Curls here on YouTube. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, so I'm starting with freshly co-washed hair and I decided to do a blowout on my hair and of course I used a heat protectant which I will show to you guys shortly. So as I um, blow dried each section, I decided to put them up into Bantu knots just to kind of keep the hair separated from what was wet and what had been blow dried. So I'm going to fluff the hair out a little bit and um, what you're going to see next is me just kind of put my hair into a couple of sections. I'm going to do one in the front, one ponytail towards the front of the head and then I'm going to do, um, to start off I did three I believe in the middle and then one at the very bottom um, but the ones that are in the middle I ended up splitting those in half um, so that I would have two equal parts um, because I am going to end up curling those um, or curling the hair for the look that I'm going for, which is a sexy mohawk. So right now you're just gonna see me do it this way, and when I come back, it's actually gonna be split in half, and the ponytail is all the way down. So I'm spraying the heat protectant, because at this point I have my ponytails in, and um, I'm just gonna start curling it a little bit. At this point, you can use a curling iron if you want to, but I'm just gonna use a flat iron, and this is a flat iron I purchased at Sally's a while back um, when my FHI died, and it's been the flat iron that I've been using for the last couple of months. So if you've seen my straight hair recently, then that's what I use. And I had the flat iron on 375. I usually straighten it on about 410. Um, and yes, I have not had any heat damage. But um, yeah, that's a blessing, I guess. So anywho, I am, as you guys can see, those ponytails have been split. Now what I'm doing is I've already curled each section. Um, and all I'm going to do is basically kind of roll my hair almost as if I'm pin curling it and then bobby pin it. Now, if you have a fuller head of hair, longer hair, um, or even if you have extensions in, this could be a really great look for you. Um, my hair is very full, but I recently got a cut a couple of months ago um, when I got the Diva cut, so my hair is a little bit shorter, and um, I have a really wide head, <laughs> so um, my hair kind of just looks a little bit shorter when I put them up in ponytails, but is what it is. So at this point, you're just going to go ahead and get your bobby pins and start pinning your hair um, however you want it to be. Um, I'm just kind of freestyling it as I go and just placing um, bobby pins and just kind of tucking the hair down um, as I go. So I'm going to turn around so you guys can start seeing the sides and the back. And don't really worry about the parts that you're seeing right now because you can brush that up. And or you can pin hair down to kind of um, hide those, those parts. So I'm just going to bobby pin. And I'm going to turn to the back in a second so that you guys can see me um, doing the sides and the back. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect. It's just going to be something kind of funky, kind of sexy, and just going to pin. Pin, pin, pin. I know it looks kind of messy right now, but um, you can smooth it in. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to um, have my hair in the front. If I want it in my face, if I want it really curly. Um, so I'm picking up the flat iron and adding a couple more curls. And depending if you actually use a curling iron instead of a flat iron, you may get a better curl, um, the definition in it, than what I did. You also, if you were going to let this set overnight, you could throw some rods in or flexi rods or um, some rollers and get that body without having to necessarily add heat. You want to tease your hair and then just start kind of pinning. 
but I ended up having somewhat of a swoop towards the front that's very funky and I liked it. And now you're just going to worry about smoothing the sides. I see the back. I need to pin that down. Um, so always have a mirror with you so that you can check the back of your hair to make sure everything is in place. Okay, so I'm grabbing some of uh, Coily Head Chicks um, Shine and Seal. It's like a pomade and it works really great with smoothing down your edges. Um, so I'm going to use that to kind of smooth that out just a little bit. Still kind of want it to be messy, kind of like you just got out of bed, you just woke up. Um, very um, sensual. I like this look a lot. <laughs> so I'm smoothing that up. And I'm going to let you guys see it from the back um, so that you can kind of see the loose curls kind of placed um, just randomly around my head. Shaking it to make sure it's pinned down good. And here you guys go. Side angle. Back. And you can pin that down more if you like. You can let it hang a little bit loose where it's um, towards the bottom if you like as well. Or you can even take that bottom section down if you like. So, of course, I have to gel this and have my little curls. Because it just wouldn't be right if I didn't. So, I'm using some Eco Styler Gel. And um, I purchased that at Sally's. A couple of weeks ago so I'm just gonna get a little gel and then I will start putting that on my hair and kind of play with it until you get it to the point where you want it to be Alright, so this part of the video is going to be dedicated to me putting on my makeup. I already have on my foundation. I already have on a little blush um, by Black Radiance. And I'll put the description to everything um, in the box below. So I am just kind of blending everything out. And this is my Essence um, Quattro, which you guys have seen on a previous video. And I'm just putting a little bit of that on. I already have on my primer. Um, which I'm trying out by Milani. And um, for the next part, I'm just going to be putting on a couple of different eyeshadows. And this one here is by Color You. I've purchased it a while back at a hair show. Um, it's purple pink, and it really is purple-ish pink. <laughs> Very pretty color, and it kind of matches the lipstick that I'm going to wear um, for you guys. It's a loose powder, so you really have to be careful with it. You don't want to put on too much, and you don't want to put on too little, but you really kind of have to pack it on. So I'm going to do that on both eyes and get it as even as I possibly can. I'm going for a um, very sultry look, um, smoky eye, which is my favorite. So I'm just patting that on and then I'm going to blend it out um, so that it's not like any harsh lines from that color and then the color that I had on from the Quattro. Alright, and I'm going to use the same brush too so you saw me kind of cleaning it off. So here's me blending and next I'm going to go over to my next palette which is by Wet n Wild. And I like the blues in it and the black, but I really love this black that they have in there as one of the definers, um, or both of the definers. Um, one is just black, and then the other one has like these little specks of silver in it, which just really make your eyes pop. So you're going to see me blend in both of those. So now you have that blended. And I'm just going to go back into this MAC palette, which I have no idea what the name of it is. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to use that to kind of even out that harshness from that black and, and then the purple pink and all the other colors. And kind of just make everything um, blend in and, you know, just kind of make it just look right. So it doesn't take much. Um, I have really big eyes and I like to play it up every now and again with some eyeshadow um, and now I'm just going back over with the purple pink just to kind of smooth it back out and let it have that pop of color
there you go so this is typically the eye that I kind of wear every day um and just kind of take the it will exchange the color out a little bit that's on the eyelid best lash extreme um, by Jordana I got this at Walgreens it works wonders it was only like a dollar 99 um and I love it also if you guys wonder uh, my foundation is by Mac NC50 doesn't take much for the eyes but I always have to have on uh, mascara and eyeliner and as you guys can see it just changed the whole look just putting on some mascara trying out a new eyeliner um, as well so you guys are going to see that in just a moment um, but I'm just really trying to make sure I get the mascara on to get that sultry look to kind of go with the hair All right, just play it up until you get it how you like it. Okay, so I'm going to use this um, eyeliner by Wet n Wow. And it's a liquid liner. And um, I'm starting to really like these liners. It gives me a very nice line. As you guys can see, I already kind of have a line there. And that is from um, the mascara, the way that I put the mascara on. If you get it kind of close to... Um, your eyelashes it will go ahead and kind of create that line for you so that you really don't even have to use eyeliner so just something I've learned over the years and again I'm not a professional makeup artist but um, I do like to play in it every now and again so here is my Maybelline to define a line I love this stuff I have to have it so I always put liner on at the bottom as well it gives my eyes that just extra pop that I like. And um, I just like the way the black looks gets my skin. You could also add a lighter color um, up above where I have the black to kind of give your eyes that, you know, more of a pop than the one it has now. So you don't necessarily have to use the same products that I use, but you can definitely use some things similar to it. So I'm going to go back to that MAC palette that I had earlier, and I'm going to use this very light color. Um, just to kind of go in towards um, the depth of my eyes so that I can brighten that part up as well. Um, so, you know, when the light hits it, it'll really just sparkle. So I'm just putting a little bit of that on over both eyes. All right, so now let's go to the lips. So I am lining my lips in Wet n Wild's Chestnut Lip Liner. It's a very light brown, really good um, on my lips. And I am using CoverGirl's lipstick. I believe it's in Plum. And it's a purplish pink, so it matches really well with the eyeshadow. And next, we're going to go to the lip gloss, which um, is by Black Radiance. And it's more purple than pink. And it's so pretty. I think it's called Plum. So we're going to put a little bit of that on. And that'll finish up my look. So, whichever style you decide to go with, rock it out. Until next time, be blessed be a blessing make sure you check out the other Atlanta vloggers Lexi with the curls of Lexi with the curls TV natural chica of Nikki May 2003 dr. T Sully of the pursuit of nappiness as well as dr. T Sully here on YouTube naughty Nikki of naughty curls here on YouTube and last but not least, Mahogany Knots. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be blessed and be a blessing. Bye.